Yes! 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 Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people! I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to Fierce to Fathom, but this time with the fifth and final episode, Woodbury Getaway. This is a very bittersweet moment for me, by the way. I hope you all realize this because Fierce to Fathom has been a very important part of my life as a gamer, as a content creator, and this is the last episode. This is five of five. And, and I don't know if Rail has any interest in making a, a season two or whatever, but this may be it for Fierce of Fathom. And that saddens me. So if I cry by the end of this episode, you are not allowed to make fun of me in the comments. And if you do, I will block you on YouTube if that's a thing to do. Um, Episode five, Woodbury Getaway. Without further ado, let's hop right into the shit. Fierce of Fathom episode. <laughs> Okay, let me call it Woodbury Getaway. It's been like a year, almost a year, December 8th, since I played the last Fierce of Fathom. I am so hyped. Need a coffee to get done with the day. Oh, oh, there's just something, there's something about a Fierce of Fathom game. It's like they all, I, I need to turn this up. It's like they all kind of just build up on themselves. Like, I, I can't, I can't think of a bad Fierce of Fathom game. Like I said, I really needed a cup of coffee. Okay. Damn, look at this. Rail really put their foot in this game. This game was actually supposed to come out earlier this year, but got delayed a couple of times because Rail just wanted to put more work into it. So I'm really glad that it's out now. Oh my God, then what? where do I go? What do I do? I know I'm supposed to be getting a cup of coffee, but I can go into all these cubicles. I feel like I'm going to miss something if I don't inspect. As much as I wanted to leave, I needed a cup of coffee. How do you know I'm trying to leave? I'm just inspecting. It's way too fucking dark in here. <laughs> Choose your drink. Prep C. None of these are actually what I want. I, I guess I'll go for a... A... a a, a Prepsi. <laughs> Why'd you just throw my pop like that? What the fuck? Wait, is there somebody else here? Sounds like typing. I had to open it first. Duh. Hey! That shit was fire. Also, this isn't a coffee, by the way. Hup! This shit, em this bitch empty. Same thing. Needed an empty cup to fill the water. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know how to make coffee. I don't make coffee. Ugh. Uh, should I? I shouldn't have thrown that cup. You know that. I made a cup of coffee. I needed to put a lid on it. I'll put a lid on these. Let me stop. Ah, nothing like a cup of Joe late at night. Probably three o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna be up for the next five hours. Ah, uh, the sweet taste of black coffee. Well, no, probably not, because I'm pretty sure like these uh these cups have flavoring in them. I think that's how that works, right? I told I promise you, I do not drink coffee. All this energy is just natural. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy, man. Needed to use the restroom. Well, that didn't go very far. I'm pretty sure I'm playing as a woman. This is like Sydney something, yeah, because I can't go into the men's. I read the description a little bit on Steam. Oh, there's no couch in here. I was lied to. It's just as dirty. Oh, oh. Can I take the take the toilet paper roll and and get myself a nice little padded? I needed. To, that's what I was trying to do. Couldn't do it with the door wide open. Okay. 
<laughs> I have a P meter. <laughs> Occupied! Occupied! Uh, should I flush? I should flush first. There we go. I can- ah! Oh my god! I was so expecting that! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Turning up the volume was a bad idea. <laughs> Whoa, ma'am, sorry! Didn't know anyone was in here! You almost gave me a heart attack, it's okay. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Oh, it's fine, you're just doing your job. Yes, you should have not. you should have knocked. Again, I'm sorry, I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What is you so frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups. <laughs> Wait, but that was something that I was just doing. Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's really rude. Well, yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, let's. Hey, that's really rude. Who the fuck would do something like that? What? What? Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Oh my god. Sir, the coffee cups are out in the office, not in the bathroom. Don't forget to take breaks, ma'am. What, what the fuck do you think I'm doing? Need any help? <laughs> Get out of my face! Need any help with anything? I'm just about done with my rounds. I meet a lot of late night workers, but you're one of the most dedicated ones here. The grind doesn't stop until my heart does. I would get this done faster if you leave me alone. Don't forget to take breaks, man. All right. I ran through all your dialogue. That was the first jump scare of the game. Definitely won't be the last. Needed to book the cabin. Uh-huh. The cabin and- Oh, hello. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? Still working on that report? Yeah. I'm trying to get this done. Don't burn yourself out. Whatever. All right, piss off, bro. I hope you die of exhaustion. Yes, that was a bit extreme, I know, but he really upset me. He hurt my feelings. Hello? Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. My battery dies at the worst times. Nah, my phone... Let me tell you, one thing about me is that I always keep my phone at a decent charge no matter how long I'm out. And I always have a charger on me. I'm, I stay prepared. What can I say? My phone's been acting up lately. It's... Oh, snap. Damn I Apple phones. Think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, no, it even cut out a, on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... Okay, Mike, chill out. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately, just more overtime. The grind does not stop until my heart does. This is all the overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yeah, that's exactly what you did. I'm so cheered now. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sounds good, Mike. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find something affordable. <laughs> Hang up. No, I'm not a bitch. I'm not mean like that. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. 
sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Everybody's been using this term lately. I know yapping has been a term that's been around for forever, but it's like, it's so common now that I just, it feels like it's part of gen alpha brain rot to hear somebody say yapping. And I, uh, uh. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Damn, I didn't even say bye or like, I'll see you later. I mean, I don't know my relationship with this guy, but like, holy shit. I'll at least say, okay, bye. If I, even if I don't really like the person, I'm at least gonna say bye. Rainbow sheets, home, insert, layout. Can I click on any of this? Company. Uh, what am I doing? Type invader. Oh, hell yeah. Oh shit, trouble. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know this was a typing game. Are you serious right now, bro? Oh, music. Don't. Especially. Shit. Shit. On. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not a very good typer, but I got this. Glad. Come on, baby. Up choose. Uh, we. Ask, view, say, fuck, I got that, my leg itches, oh, this one's moving faster, clock, extra, size, shit, observe, <laughs> proper speak, much, describe, hey, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm surprising myself. After neck. What I call the time after head. Last 20. Shit, 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 shit. Shine. Give. Horse. What the fuck? Similar rock. Pull nature. Hey, 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 I'm a type master. Okay, that was fun. Anyways, time to book this Airbnb. Feeling unlucky. Uh, what do I search for? Oh, wait, hold on. You know I gotta do it. <gasps> no, I'm not typing that in. Oh. In the previous game, they let me search whatever I wanted. Find your place to stay, rent any cabin from hosts around the world. Where are you going? Uh, nope, we don't want that one. We don't want that one. We don't want that one. We can use that one, private cabin in Woodbury. We don't want that one or that one. Hey! got Wi-Fi, a garden, TV, kitchen, fishing spot, parking space, two reviews. Let me see. Eight reviews, 32 reviews. That's a five star. This one isn't bad. Three stars. That's a five star. We could we could make an exception for an extra hundred dollars, right? All right, book the cabin. Oh, let's look at some pictures. Uh, never mind. You can't do that. <laughs> Two bedroom, two bed, one and a half shared bathroom. That's not bad for $99 a night. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but it was rushed. I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The paid job, the job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. The daily 9 to 5 grind. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway of 
to Rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. I'm so excited. Mike, what's good? Oh, is that a PSP? Bro, that shit just came out. Escape to hang up. Uh, hello? How do I... How do I answer the call? Pulling into the garage now. You down? Uh... I forgot my suitcase in the elevator at first. No, I did it. I got it. It's right here. Oh, you weren't. That wasn't. Oh, <laughs> that was not Mike. Here, take my bags. Hug. Heart. That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you miss me? All right, all right, just a test hug to see if you smelled. <laughs> Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Chuckle and long hug. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Cool. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. He up. All right, let's go. All right, then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Wait. Yeah, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. That's not what you said. The route through the city should have been a detour for her anyway. All right, then, Harp. Okay, Mike. I'm an unsuspecting woman. Just know that I know how to kick ass. I hope. 4.26 p.m. This was actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. So, you got any kids? Not much signal when you're uh, when you are out here from this far. Okay, turn that off. Just inspecting for things to talk about. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how, oh, that my hoes are texting me. Funny how that works. We couldn't wait to get out into the world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world wouldn't, how much, real world would you know suck sometimes oh that was a weird way of doing that change is just did you see a school bus see what it was a school bus a school bus back there by the old house maybe it's a project you know someone's idea of turning in Turning it into a tiny home on wheels or whatever. I've read people on do that on the internet. Okay, yeah, that was kind of uncomfortable. Because why the hell was there a school bus out here? I'm so uneasy. Oh, snap. That was close. You know? I read on the internet that in a Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. What was that message telling you? Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at the way snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Wow. Yeah. I can see exactly what you mean. Fuck, you're interrupting my moment. It's kind of 
Beautiful. Yeah, no, I, I definitely... No, the void is taking me up! Five fifteen PM. Yo, Harp, check that out. What, the Dairy Mart or the Pizza Place? Moe's Pizza. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these GPS systems are getting, are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I can eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick detour around this place and, you know, collect an achievement. What are you waiting for? I'm trying to collect achievements. I gotta find and talk to everybody at the pizzeria. I'm not a completionist. God, I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing me say that. Come on in, Harper. Thank you. Especially the this just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay, like the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Right? You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. <laughs> Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil. I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? <laughs> Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Damn! Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer. Damn! You. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. Okay, how's your day? Been able to work here Who are you? Like I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. I hope you enjoy your meal. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh yeah? Well let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Yeah. Exhausted and desperately need a break? Is your nine to five stressing you out? Yes. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. That's what I did. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they're also safe. No. With each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure that your stay is top notch. We have many options to choose from including pet friendly alcohol friendly uh -huh. family sized uh -huh. underground yeah and many more underground y you can beat me but you can never beat the taste of ufo burgers <laughs> okay <laughs> enough of that <clears throat> do you have any recommendations get the cheese just the cheese all right Get the cheese and just the cheese. Understood. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Not bad, you? I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Are you here for the pizza? Uh, going to grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help. Maybe you can. But you go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. Say less. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you a bit of a story. So, what brings you to most? Just passing through, we're headed to a cabin in Woodbury. I'm here on a road trip with my friend. You've made a good choice stopping here. Do you come here often? Oh my dear, I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Though, my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for a man my age, she says. 
She worries too much. Only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a month now. Well, I it was nice chatting with you. Safe travels to you and your friend. It was nice talking to you too. What a man. How's the pizza? Pizza's great. Actually, I think Moe's might have ruined other pizzas for me. For us. It's our first time in the area. Uh, where are you headed? We're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. We just stop to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local or just passing through? Just passing through. Interesting. Um, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and be and be care in the snow. You too. Hey, talk to all the NPCs at the pizzeria. Fantastic. Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving a pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? Why am I so back up? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss? Ooh, gotta go with the, the most special. All right, what's your second slice? Pepperoni and a cheese. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us just the pizza today, thanks. That should cover us just the pizza today, thanks. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be $22.50. Ugh, paying on the first date, what the fuck? Your order menu, your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll ca call you when your pizza's ready. Dude, we should, we should like totally sit here. Okay, fine, you'll sit there. I'll sit here. I didn't want to pick my seat anyway. Oh, fuck, it smells so good in here. Sorry, that's just, uh, <laughs> that's just the way that I, oh, okay, let me stop. I almost gave myself a headache. How do I pull up my phone? Escape to read messages. All right, hold on, hold on. Everybody keeps texting me all at once. This is not okay. Stop doing that. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Nor in Woodbury for December 10th through the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just want to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in, drive safe, or travel safe. Do you hear these bozos in the back munching in my ear right now? Chris, future Chris, turn up the volume. Like, the nerve of some people. OMG, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess, Baxter got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now, a birth announcement that says, the force is strong with this one. Mikey, lol. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you are a big, you're the biggest nerd, I know. Other than Baxter, he would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love, the Beatles. Aw, oh, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again, right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember telling I remember Taylor telling me they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school in high school. It's so stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass revising division designs for a company I don't even care about. Why? Seriously, I feel you, girl. May as well put a bet put a bed in the office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. <gasps> And I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Cyricus just doesn't hit the same. Can't believe it's the it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind of Baxter. Not the same kind as Baxter had for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. 
How about we find a rental house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe. We can just chill and relax a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high. I'm sure one of my old contacts could come through. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. I love it. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from all the stress, no work, no deadlines. It'd be like a girl's trip, but with Mike. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll I'll get back to you after I think about it. XOXO. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in, but there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey had in mind, but it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking the lead, booking the house? You'll always have a knack. You always, you've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me? Really? Book the cabin? I suppose I could do it. I'm excited. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I Same really girl. need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Hey, Rail. Where was my... <laughs> where was my speaking lines? Where was my voice acting role? Nora, that's, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going, okay? Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. You better be. Ugh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make uh, I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Messages. Rent a cabin. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Huh? Are these all the same... Oh my god, I'm not reading all of this. Basically, they're all really good friends. They all like to hang out with each other. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the phone without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, Mike. I know it's... I, I know we're close. I know we've been friends for a while, but like... All this, all this here is, is reserved. I'm saving myself for something. Order number 27. Your folks are all here. You folks are right here. I don't know why I said it like that. They put three slices of pizza in a box. All right. You folks are all set. Thank you. This is so ghetto. <laughs> they just took a box and threw three slices of pizza in here. Uh, I'm going to start with... Oh, the most special. I'll save the best for last. I'll start with the cheese. Oh, damn! This pizza slaps! Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? I'm gonna be honest right now. I'm really hungry for some pizza. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. It's wasteful. Who? I don't. Do you? I'm looking at you. You right there. Do you eat the crust on your pizza? If you answer no, that is the wrong answer. I guess, but wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? That is so different. That is such a different situation. Hey there, my friend. 
Hello there. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and take notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride? Uh, where's, where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So, what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh... <sighs> See? I'm kind of on a streak of making bad choices. I killed Jaime in, uh, in, uh, in, in the casting of Frank Stone, and I don't want to be the reason why this guy kills us. But... He hasn't given me any reason, because we we had a little bit of a conversation earlier. He seemed like a nice guy. He seemed chill. So I'm just going to say, sure, you can come with us. Why not? Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this first? Isn't that what we're doing? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. We would give you a ride, but there isn't any space. It's my friend's car. You gotta talk, talk to him. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you th threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry. I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah. Thanks. I'm so sorry. Anyways, back to this bomb-ass pizza. Are you serious? How are you going to let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I'm just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. All right, Dad. Anyways, back to this bomb-ass pizza. <laughs> Right mouse button to burp. The pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of the trip. Now we're a lady. This doesn't say that ladies don't burp. Holy, that was good. All right then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Nah, I'm not driving. Are we close? <laughs> Let's see if the GPS, if the GPS is right. It should be about another hour. Oh, I take the keys anyways. Okay. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you get to get a break. Take a break while I drive, Michael. Not the government. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give a give me, Harp. Hey, bro, do you mind? Do you mind? You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's only, there's one condition. What is it? I get the first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Deal. Take the keys. I don't want to drive, if I'm being honest. Hold on, hold on. Check the bed. Check the car. Check under the car. He might be riding under the hood. We got to check for that creepy dude. Mike was waiting on me. I don't know which way he went, but we got to check for him. Come on, let's go. Okay, dude, chill. I'm just trying to make sure we're not going to die or anything. 5.49 p.m. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB. Whoa. Look, Mike, I'm driving. Whoa. We're going to run into that car. Oh. First snowfall of the season. <laughs> nothing like a perfect song. To Funny sing. jokes, right? So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ed and Altus. Stay warm and stay tuned. Hey. I don't want to talk about what's wrong or right. Pitch me up on the mic, spitting what I like. I've been reminiscing on friends and listening. Maybe I can find them if they're still in my dick. 
distance like I don't mean shit weird but come on man uh which way am I supposed to go I think we're almost there. Do you remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Oh my god! They always have the best radio music in the Fierce of Fathom games. It, oh, it's so cool. I think the words come together well and that's no coincidence. I drove past our cabin at first. How am I supposed to know which one is ours? So I focus when I type, trying to get a good song, but can't get it if I try. So I sit up in my room, right, reflecting on my life. I don't know where I'm going, but I hope I get it. It was very cold out. I think, I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. I don't know where the address to the house is. How am I supposed to know which one is ours? Okay, hold on. Hold on. So this is Woodbury. Is it this one over here? Ah, 241. Got it. <laughs> Why are you just standing there like that? So menacing. Door was locked. I had to get the key from the lockbox. No, Chris, not the mailbox, the lockbox. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Is that Paufu? Oh my god, they got Paufu in the game! Oh! They got Paufu to get a song in this game. In case you don't know, Palfu, he made the song, um... <sighs> Palfu made the song Deathbed. It's like, don't stay away me too long, don't... It was all over TikTok when it first came out. And then, like, ever, ever since, I couldn't even have parked Mike's truck there before checking in. Huh? I couldn't have parked Mike's truck there before checking in. Um, but yeah, no, like he, ah, oh, it's so cool. I love his music. Harp, <laughs> did you get your license from a cereal box? And this should be it. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. I should have let Mike drive. Okay. It was a quaint little house in the quiet neighborhood. Hold left mouse button to slide. Space to get back. Oh. Left mouse button to interact. Oh, what was the code? Ah, damn it. Aren't you going to get your bags? Yeah, hold on. Let me. What's the code? 5176. 5176. Hey! Hey! After you. After, after you. All right, fuck you. It's so cozy in here. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. I'm not gonna say that because I don't know that. I really need to hit the hay or hit the John. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, could you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. Enter the cabin. The house was cozy and well furnished. Uh. Footprints. Not a fan of that one. Set that there. Bop, 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 bop. There we go, Captain. 
Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't like basements in horror games. Phew, sorry about that, Harper. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Hang on, I really need to pee. All the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyways, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. Hang on, I really... Do I actually have to pee? For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Can I not use the same bathroom that he just used? According to his description of how he just felt, he pretty much just blew that bitch up. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Mike, we got a Ouija board in here. Mike, we got a Luigi board. We got board games. They've got Catopoly. What the fuck is Catopoly? I don't like that half the windows are open in here. Turn that. <laughs> I had to pee. Not in the same bathroom that he just took a dump in. Ah, Mike, it smells disgusting in here. <laughs> the smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Hi, we've checked in. Just making sure that I don't see any movement. Oh, bro, I am not okay right now. I'm not okay. No, no, just kiss. No, just ha ah, ah. ha. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands after I peed. Oh shit, I did do that. You feeling better after the drive? Much better. So, ready to check out the place? Sure, let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Uh, let me wash my hands. I didn't realize. I forgot that this game is a bit more realistic. Alright. Uh, where do we check first? Oh, oh, bro, check this out. Come check this out. Come check this out. We have a Ouija board. You're gonna think this is so cool. Look at this. Look. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Bro, look. We got board games. Whispers in the dark. You want to play around with the Ouija board? We got that. You want to play some chess? We got that. You want to play knockoff Jenga? We got that. Mega rounds? Whatever the fuck that is, we got it. Catopoly? We got that. Bro, I know you want to play some snakes and ladders because we got that. And don't even get me started on Dragon's Labyrinth because we got that. Hey, don't close the doors on me. The Star Titan Force? You know we got that, bro. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Oh, is there no light here? Oh No, I I'm not feeling it. I'm not enjoying this a totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm Are you sure I don't smell the long beach cush here long beach cush? I wonder what this guy. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see couldn't open the door oh but I could turn the lights on oh thank heavens can't read this important document here might be a manifesto breaker box keep in mind the breaker box is down here just in case we're gonna need it because I know we're gonna somebody's gonna shut the power off on us and it's gonna be all bad I'm telling you I am going to freak the fuck out Mike, hurry your ass up. We're inspecting the home. <laughs> hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. All right. Just remember that the flashlight is in here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for 
my cat earlier and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay, alright, okay. That's all you. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing underwater water or waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Okay, hold on, I gotta realign myself. Oh, this stink doesn't... This sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. The fuck is this lotion and toilet paper doing on the couch right here? With the newspaper? Bro, you freaky as hell! Look, Harp, this room is a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Show you the what? Follow me now, please. Okay. Mike, I don't... I don't think I want to stay here anymore. Holy smokes, this is incredible! Incredibly cold? Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for finish it, for fishing, too. Alright, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Okay, I'm also not seeing a creek, but I'll take your word for it. Mike, I don't know how I feel about this. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use the flashlights here on the right. Storms like these, you never know. Uh, thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs now. Mike. Mike, take that flashlight and bonk him over the head with it. I don't trust this guy. Run his pockets. Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets all out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. In the basement? Where you're going to murder us? Where you're gonna lock us down there and uh, unsuspectingly kill us? Why do you stop right there? Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Okay. All right. Hey, sir. What's the deal with this room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They're really out of... They're really... They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Guys, I'm slightly uncomfortable. Did I mention... Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well told me his mother died down here some guests have reported hearing voices at night said they could hear something shuffling around down here not to scare you folks but if I were one of you I wouldn't really step down here <laughs> the looks on your faces <laughs> come on now I'm just joking I'm just pulling your chain. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at 6 out of 10. Oh, mine's been a 10 out of 10 since the second he jump scared me. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to keep finding... Got to keep... Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. I'm going to make sure that you leave. By the way, what was the name of that booking? I must be getting old. No, no, no. Give me the option to, uh, 
You don't have a, a, a book book? It's Sydney. Ha! Ah, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. That's not the owner. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyways, let's go see if there's... Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Tch, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. No, 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 where'd he go? Okay. Alright, I gotta watch him off. Bear Creek Trail. Yeah, buddy, I'm on to you. I'm on to you, buddy. Jesus, how far can I go? Okay, this is about as far as I can go. Uh-huh, I'm gonna keep watching you. I don't trust you one bit. I'm gonna double check the backyard for this creepy bozo. Because you never know, there's literally footprints leading to the house. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely back here. Right, because that's where I saw him, I saw him walk over there. So he has access to the house. Oh, oh that was a, that was a fucking leaf. There's no, he has access to the house whenever he wants. Yeah, we're done, we're dead. All he has to do is hop that fence. And this, this is wide open for some reason. All right, anyways, let me take a shower. I was keen on taking a shower upstairs. For whatever reason, this is a nicer bathroom, but okay. Actually, I take it back. This is a pretty nice bathroom. No windows either. I don't have to worry about somebody uh, coming in to watch me. Okay. Yeah. As a lady, you gotta get the essential bits. You gotta get the that PTA, pits, tits, ass. Ladies, confirm. I didn't need a shower. Pits, tits, ass. Those are the essential cleaning spots. Nowhere else is as important. The tap didn't work. That's right. I remember now. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Plan on catching dinner? Now that you mentioned it, that would be pretty epic, an epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. Cool, cool, but please don't leave the door wide open like that ever again. This is how people get in. I gotta watch the house. You know, Fierce of Fathom games, they like to hide sneaky little bits. Stuff that you may not notice if you're not paying attention. You wanna grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Just watching the house. Uh, where's it at? Got it. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for it? Hell yeah! Well, first things first, we need the, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, Grab a carp bait and let's, oh, and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Yeah, <laughs> please don't take, please don't make rhymes with my name. Uh. Oh. Common carp. Common carp. So we can either use cheese delight or sweet corn. I think I want to use the sweet corn. Bro, I'm so excited. Are you ready to catch some fish? Are you, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to catch some fish? Hey, there's a guitar out here. Mike, did you know I play? Mike, are you aware that I play the guitar? I hope these carp are biting today. You mean tonight. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Hey, I caught one. Uh, throw it back. That's not what we're looking for. Ah, uh, this is nice. Ooh. Uh, throw it back. That's not what we're looking for. Why do I keep catching blue gill? It said you could... Sweet corn was common carp, right? Hold on. I'll be right back. I think I grabbed the wrong bait. I could have sworn common carp was sweet corn. Yeah, sweet corn, common, common carp. Chances of catching common carp. I guess I should try the cheese. Cheese delight. Am I supposed to keep them or am I supposed to throw them back? There we go. Got one. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Cool. Just one more carp left. You got this. Thanks, Mike. You've always had faith in me. You know, my first time ever going fishing in a video game was when I played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. As a child, that's really difficult. Let me tell you. Okay, I see this fish is going to be a bit of a problem. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's not even a carp. There we go. Got him. All right, Harper. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven? Uh, Let's do it. We got what we needed. Yeah! Environmental pollution. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take the bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt on it. Can you give me like a list first? Yogurt. Hold your horses, the fish will be right out. I was trying to put it in the bowl. Oh, that bowl. Got it. Um, what else do I need? Salt, black pepper, paprika, garlic paste, Italian seasoning, salt, black pepper, and I need the olive oil. Olive oil. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the cas casserole while I chop these veggies? On it. Flop. Oh, I needed to add the fish first. Flop. 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 Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go in 30 minutes at 400. But, damn, this looks good. Damn! These carp are going to taste amazing. You could say that again, buddy. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Which ones? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the... Yeah, okay, let me see. I for sure closed all these doors. 
As a matter of fact, hold on. Let me double check the basement. Make sure ain't nobody down here. Ah, what board game do I want to play? What board game do I want to play? Actually, I'm pretty invested in Sketopoly. Not feeling that one right now, Harp. Fuck do you mean? Fine. All right. I'm pretty sure the one he wants to play is the Ouija board. But I'm just going to try all these games because I don't actually want to play a Ouija board. I'm already terrified enough as it is. How about something that gets our adrenaline pumping? Oh, you want something that gets your adrenaline pumping? No, I got you. I got you. I got you. A good game of Tower Stack always gets my adrenaline pumping. Ah, Tower Stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I've... <laughs> totally. It's been a long time for me, too. Okay, let's see how steady those hands are. I'm a nurse in a past life. Or not a nurse. I'm a, a, a surgeon. I am a surgeon. Whenever you're ready, start the game. Oh, boy, I'm actually playing. Okay. Hold A to lean a little to the left. Oh. Oh. Okay, Rail. I see you. All right. Wait, what? Oh, shit. This is a steady test. Oh, damn harp. Do you practice this in your free time? Oh, don't mess up. Boom. Another perfect move by yours truly. Okay. I fucks with this. Oh, too easy, right? Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Boom. Another perfect. Okay. He's just going to say the same thing. Yeah, I, li I like taking it from the middle. Your tower block game is seriously on point. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing a little something play. I'm just doing a little Ha! Ah, fucking loser! Everybody in the comments point and laugh at Mike. Everybody, as a matter of fact, type in Mike sucks at stack tower stack. Ah, oh, man, I almost had it. You want to do it again? Uh, Let's leave it at that for now. We got other games we could be playing. That was a fun game, Harp. You really did well. Thanks, Mike. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Hell yeah, buddy. That's freshly caught right there. We did. We caught those. That was carp. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Back up, buddy. Back up. Damn, look at them lips. Them lips. Whoa. With the lemon, too? Mm, my mom, my mom makes some banger salmon. Like, ah, uh, she makes really good salmon. We had to catch the. Uh, fine, I'll do it myself. Erica's chocolate cake with a spoonful of mayonnaise. This delicacy is very popular in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the river. Oh, that's the tree. A mayonnaise water part. I'm paranoid. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce. With a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. 
The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. But <laughs> here you are anyway, listening <laughs> to my cooking instructions. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. We, we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it Harp, that was some damn fine things. food twice as good since it's we caught the fish ourselves once it, knows it was really good you make a great team Harp. hey anyways i need to check my emails real quick left my laptop upstairs i thought we were taking a break from work it's not work i'm just waiting on a shipment detail on shipment details for my d <laughs> for my new ds hey i'll be right back all right i'll clean up okay i'll do the dishes until then a dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of pay. All right, enough of that. What a weirdo. What an oddball that one is. Ah. Mm, no jump scares, please. I have a feeling it's it's been a minute since we got the last one. It's been a minute since the last jump scare. Woo! I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't make noise. Walk slow. Mike, Mike, this isn't funny. You're not funny, Mike. Which one is his? Mike, Mike, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Ah, he's under the bed. He's under the bed. No! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I was slightly prepared for that one. Uh, you're lucky I didn't break your nose. <laughs> my good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I get you back. I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. Oh my goodness. Well, I think I already. F I decided to hide in the basement. No, no, no. Oh, that is a terrible place to hide. This is not our home. Oh my God! And the music is getting all creepy. I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Absolutely not. Aha, got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you should, you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Where, where do I do that at? Oh. Why did I choose to do this down here? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. 
Uh, ready or not, here I come! Alright, Michael, you bastard. Where on earth could he be hiding? Oh, I wonder. Are you hiding in the game room? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I'll find you. Are you hiding in the bathroom? In the shower? No. Don't worry. I'll get you. I'll find you. Are you hiding in the fridge? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, you're a good one. That would have been a good hiding spot. I would have never thought to check there. Wouldn't that be a place to hide? That would be, like, quite the place if he decided to hide on the balcony. Like, good fucking luck. If I knew that, I would purposefully, like, take forever to find him just so that he would come out. Snoop through that bitch's laptop. Snoop through his laptop. You might find something that you're not meaning to look for. But you could definitely snoop. Are you in here? Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. So are we not going to do anything to check it out? Don't close the door on me. I couldn't reach it without the step stool. Which is where exactly? Step stool. Where the hell is there a step stool? Oh, got it. Oh my god, no, no, no. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna- can you come up here with me, please? I don't feel too safe all by my- <laughs> Oh, it's just a cat. Hi. Hi there. Okay. Oh, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Hey. Oh, there's light. It's just a cat. Sydney, are you okay? What was that up there? It was just a cat. Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. <laughs> It's just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. She, You ready to count again? I think she was hungry. I'm not playing that game again. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I find you again. Oh, my God. Where am I supposed to hide now? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Let's not. Rule of thumb for hide and seek. Stay in the house. Unless the rules st uh, specify otherwise. Stay in the house. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is there a specific place in the tool shed that I was supposed to hide? I would not think to check outside. Not in this kind of weather. Fuck that. You could stay out there. <laughs> ah, there you are. Damn, Harp, it took me a minute. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. 
Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You can find me and we'll go to bed. Fine. I'm in Ready or not, here I come. <sighs> now where in the house could he be? Are you... Hiding in the fridge? Damn. Are you... Hiding in the bathroom? Damn. Are you in the basement? Nope. Don't worry, Michael. I'll find you, and when I do, you're not gonna like me. Okay, I'm not a super fan of that. Did you decide to hide in the attic? I'm gonna name you Gizmo. I don't know why. Actually, I'm gonna name you Gur. Like from Invader Zim. Oh my god. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you here again? Rick, why are you back? Why the hell are you here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with every t with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before, that must have been the old that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it for ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please, let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're you think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to it. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. No, sir, don't go. Sir. Sir, don't go. No. My friend here didn't mean it. Sir, don't go. No, sir, don't. Sir. Sir. <laughs> sir, don't go. Sir. Sir. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he really, he said, it seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Almost the hour of the witch. Oh, I'm having nightmares. I think. Get up. Hi! Who is it? Mike? Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk to you about something. Sure. Just close the door behind you. 
The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about, man? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge into the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've always been a little difficult to deal with. You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Uh, the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> get out! Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Eh, you're being weird. Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us, just talking. It's been too long. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip in Oregon. I remember it pretty being pretty awkward. I do remember it really well. I don't remember it at all, so I... I remember it really well. Oh yeah? You tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can... Nora! Nora! Huh? SOS, please. Oh, shit. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about it. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good idea. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says... Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Sure, of course. 100%. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to... Let me at least walk you out. There's no sense of both of us freezing our asses off. Okay. It was freezing cold outside. Hey, why don't you get some rest I'm go I'll, while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right, more than you right now. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. We're not gonna do that. He's He's... He's being cautious, and we should too. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Sweet dreams, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. I'm just outside in pajamas, freezing my ass off. Huh, I can barely see him in all this snow. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Okay. 
Yep, and despite the fact that I'm home alone, I'm still gonna keep this wide open for anybody to creep in. Mm-mm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Can I check up in the attic? It looks like somebody's been sleeping up here, if I'm being honest. Uh, pet the kitty for good luck? Nope, never mind, I can't do that. I guess bad luck is assured. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some sleep. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Who the fuck is there at this hour? Someone was at the front door. The realization that someone was outside late at night was horrific. Hor horrific. Alert the hiker. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. <gasps> no! No, I fell off the map! What? Why is that even an option? What the hell? Um. Do I have to... Why do I always get the buggy games? Oh my goodness. This literally happened in my last episode of the casting of Frank Stone. Bro. Bro. I can't even... How do I escape? Thank the devs for load states. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. Uh, no thanks. I think I'm going to go back to bed. Actually, I've decided against it. Some... Are you serious? We're actually gonna let him in? Do you have any idea what time it is? No, I'm not gonna say anything. Look, my friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. The weather outside is getting pretty bad, and I... Well, I was hoping you'd be a friend and let me come inside to warm up. Just until my friends get here. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you. Come on now, my friend. If you were caught out in this blizzard, I'd give you a warm place to wait, at, wait it out. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still... unkind. Get out of here or I'll call the cops. No, he probably knows that there's no cops out here. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Well... <sighs> Ain't no cops around here, yeah. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Uh. Okay. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Yep, well. 
I'm dead. End of story. Oh my god, what the hell? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Uh, Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here, driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come and look since you live so close? Not this again. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. Open the door, miss. It's me. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. There's no time for fucking mind games. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Okay. Cool. You can... Um, you can leave now. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Uh, he went to go pick up our other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? the fuck are you doing? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay, yeah. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in the real. <laughs> Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay the fuck away from me. I knew it. I knew it wasn't him. So what do I do? Uh, what do I do? Homie. 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 Do I just play Ring Around the Rosie with him until, uh, until my buddy gets back? Because I will. I'll play this game with you. Why did I go in the basement? No clue. Where's he at? Do I just let him get me? There's no way. There's no way. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm kind of trapped. Every oh, okay. Um, yeah, everything's okay. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friend. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Who are you? What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. Get out of here. We need to stop threatening with the cops. Everybody knows there's no cops out here. 
I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it would be one of y one of us. Uh, what? What the hell are you doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Take two. Okay, so what is he doing? Who? Oh. Okay. All right, I fucked that up again. Hold on, I'll figure this out. This really, this really isn't that difficult. Take three. Take four. Take five. So what if I go downstairs? He blocked the front door. Shit. Oh, fuck. No. <sighs> okay, so he blocked the back door. He broke the front door. I think the only way out is if I jump from the balcony, and which is what I was trying to do but I keep mistaking the storage room for the balcony. <sighs> Thank the devs for safe spaces. Okay, it's not the balcony. Definitely not the balcony. <sighs> Why is this so difficult? Let me see, where else can I go?
Okay. All right. All right. And then I have to go all the way back to this again. an idea i have an idea once he leaves the room i'm going to put the stool this better be it I got this, guys. I, I I know I'm really bad at video games. I know. I already know. You don't have to tell me. I know. So now my thought process is that he's going to just get bored and leave. Can I just sick the cat on him? Are you all right? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Okay. How soon can they be here? <laughs> I don't want to go back down there. Help! Do I go back? Oh my god, am I supposed to... Are we good? Am I safe? Ah, uh, he let him up. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Last jump scare of the game, I guess. Had to really get me. I told him everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end he gave us a full refund. Ah, uh, survived through the fifth episode. Oh, it's so bittersweet. Ah, uh, Berlizzi, Queso, I'm Dante, Lily, Pichu, PC Smith, Nat Vision, Venandra. Hell yeah. Oh, Braille, please make more of these. 
Oh my god. Thank you for playing Fierce of Fathom. No! You didn't have to hit me with the sad violin. Damn. Like I said, this is a bittersweet moment because like, I love Fierce of Fathom. I feel like my, my holy trinity of horror games are the Chilla's Art games, Fierce of Fathom, and like, one of the mascot horror games, I don't, they keep juggling. It's between Poppy Playtime, Garden of Ban Ban, you know, they, they juggle every now and then. But Fierce Fathom is such an experience. Like, I think the first game came out way back in, oh my god, what was it? 20, 21, 22? It was, jeez. But I'm so happy to see that like all five episodes are like complete now. And I bet I bet Rail is relieved as well. Good fucking job. Good you'll probably never see this video, but good job. I just I really hope that there's like a, a season two. A Fierce of Fathom season two will come out in like the next three years and nobody will be expecting it. But if that does happen, just let I just wanna let you guys know that I'm calling it. Fierce of Fathom season two. <laughs> Fierce of Fathom Woodbury Getaway was a fantastic experience. I want to experience it again. I usually do a ranking to, to tell you guys where I feel. So Carson House is still at the top of my list. I don't know what it was, but I just feel like Carson House is like up there for me. The last one with the cult, um, what is it called? Watch something. You play as the, the Tower of Watchmen. That one would be next. And then this one. Home Alone, and Norwood Hitchhike. Not to say the Norwood Hitchhike is a bad one, but it's just, it's not my favorite one. It's not what I really think of when I think of Fears to Fathom. Even though that was the first one to introduce the, the microphone effect. Um, I, uh, I don't want to leave it at that, but I there's nothing more to say. <sighs> Let's just take a look back at all the episodes. Home Alone, Norwood Hitchhike, Iron Bark Lookout, yeah, so I'd say one, two, three, four, five. If you wanted to see my last video, my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you wanted to see the full, complete playlist of Fierce of Fathom, I'll have that also linked somewhere around here as well. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Please, season two. I need I need more. <laughs>